Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to do stuff like this. Custom crafting. Yeah, we get some gravel out of that. And this. Also some custom crafting. So let's just chuck on that and step on it. Gives us compressed ice. First method is very reliable, but it requires four command blocks. However, it can also be easily put into one command. So what are we doing here? We are setting an item with a score of crafting one. This is a dummy score. And the item ID is written like this. Now, why the B next to the count and why the S next to the damage? Because they look nice, I don't know. And on ground, just so like you can't craft stuff in mid-air. And then this one gets set a score of two, so this is the andesite. And then, when there is a item with a crafting score of one, and an item with a crafting score of 2, or we'll put in within a radius of 1 of each other, then it will summon an item, just like that, gravel with a count of 8, no letters this time, and then it will just kill the crafting things. Method 2 is a bit more ugly because it requires the use of a comparator, and if two players coincidentally craft the same thing at the same time, then one person will have to get off and then jump back on again. Unfortunately, that's how the the ball rolls. I don't know. Anyway, so we have execute from all players and down a block. And then we're testing for a block dropper facing up. You can have a custom name if you want. Crafting must be in quotations. And then the nasty bit, sorting out your items. So we have a, a colon, a square bracket, and then a... Another curly bracket, slot must be 0B, or whatever slot it is, starts at 0, so this is slot 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on. If you're using stuff for like chests instead, most people use that because of the nice 9 by 9 grid. But all I'm really doing is specifying my slot, my ID, it must say Minecraft colon ice in quotations, otherwise it won't work, and then your count. So, and that must be a B as well. Your count is just how many there are. So if I change this to 10, then I will require 10 ice blocks in this slot for it to work. So it is pretty flexible around that. Regular crafting doesn't have that. And then, if that's true, then this comparator will turn on. Oh, by the way, when you string slot numbers together, make sure there's a comma in between there and that they're surrounded in curly brackets. But anyway, this then happens, execute from all players, C equals 1, so it only happens to one player. And if there's a dropper below them, then it will set a block of dropper, and then it will replace the dropper below you with a, something with packed dice. And again, the letters are not present here this time. This is all made a lot easier with MC Stacker. Stacker. Link in the description, I always put that in the description of my videos. But anyways, if you have any more requests for crafting, these are very simple. Uh, game Mode 4 does a, a way more complex method than this, but I'll explain that another time. But anyway, thanks very much for watching. Have a great day.